Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to back up and secure your Cyaquen wallet. So in a few previous videos, I showed you how to uh, create a wallet, create an address, and also showed you how to get started with uh, GPU Cyaquen mining. But in this video, I want to show you how to back up and secure your Cyaquens that you've obviously created and mined, and um, just wanna show you how to keep those uh, safe. So, we're on uh, the machine with uh, Windows 10 installation, but if you've got a different version of Windows, then um, the process will be very similar. Uh, so we've got in front of us, we've got the actual Cyquen uh, wallet, which is just there. Uh, the first thing we need to do is actually close that down. So we're just gonna close it. And then what we need to do is just check on the actual taskbar and just make sure it's not um, just running minimized. Um, so you just wanna make sure it's uh, fully closed. So if you followed my uh, actual wallet creation um, video, you would have created a Cyquen wallet and when you set that up, you would have created a text file which included your password and seed and probably a uh, Cyquen receiving address which would look just like this. So what we want to do is we want to save this file. Uh, we're just going to actually, we're going to create a new folder on our desktop and we're going to call it uh, Cyquen wallet back up um, and I'm just going to do a uh, win 10 just so I know what uh, machine it is so I've got um, a few machines with different wallets so I just need to uh, keep them organized um, and then what I'm going to do is um, this wallet file the text file with our passwords I'm just going to copy that across and I'm going to put it in that Cycoin wallet so that's actually one part of the uh, process there Okay, so the next part that we need to actually do is the actual wallet files themselves. And so I'll show you where these are located. They're kind of uh, hidden away. So if you click on your local disk drive, which is uh, normally C, uh, then if you go to the users folder, and then if you click on the actual machine name or username for your actual computer, so it'll be the primary name. In this case, mine is uh, just Lee. And then if you look for this list, you should see a folder called app data. Um, if you can't see that folder, if you just go to your view settings and then if you just check show hidden items, you'll be able to see that um, app data folder. Like I say, it is a hidden folder. So we go inside the app data as well as, and then we go to roaming, and then we have a look through, you'll see the various other uh, folders and other coins, and then we want the sire-ui one, and then sire, and then in here you'll see there's this uh, wallet folder, and then you've got a couple of files in there. For most people, it should be three files. Uh, but then what we want to do is we just want to copy it. So Control and C. And then we're just going to paste this into that folder there. We can close those now. So now this uh, folder that we've got on our desktop is basically a good copy of our wallet. So we've got our um, seed passphrases uh, and we've got a copy of the actual wallet files uh, in there as well. So that's good for a, um, a recovery. And the only problem uh, with this is that it's not um, password protected or secured um, in any way. So um, if anyone sort of got their hands onto this sort of file, they basically could uh, restore your Cycoin wallet and steal your funds. So what I like to do with um, all of my crypto uh, currency funds, I normally um, use WinRAR and I sort of uh, compress them into a single file and also add um, password protection. So I'll show you how to do that as well. It just adds a, an extra layer of security and uh, protection. So you, like I say, you need WinRAR to do this, uh, which is a free program. Then if we go uh, right click and we go uh, add to archive. Um, at the top, you've just got the name it's gonna be saved under. It says the format, we just leave it as RAR. And then on this bottom right hand side, you've just got set password. So I'm just gonna set a password in here. And just wanna Enter it again to confirm. We want to click OK and then OK again. And that's actually been processed, but it's kind of a hidden it over there. Let's just drag that across. So now we have the original sort of a folder wallet, and then we have this raw compressed version, which is also password protected. Um, so I'll just show you how that works now. Um, what we can actually do is um, if I delete the actual uh, the original folder. Um, I'll clear that up afterwards. So this folder here, we can you know back that up. We can save that on a like USB pen drive or 
put it in Dropbox or Google Drive, whichever service you want, or you can you know even even email it back to yourself. There's lots of different ways to actually save it, but this is the file um, that obviously you want to keep saved. Um, so what happens is when you actually want to open it, double click it, and then you see the actual folder. And then inside you'll see your file. So we've got the wallet folder, and then we've got this text file, and the text file's got a little asterisk by it, and that just means that it's actually password protected. So if I double click on it now. Also, we need to enter the password. I'll do the wrong password. Click OK, and then we get an error message. It says that it can't be um, decrypted, basically. So it'll only be decrypted if we enter the correct password. And then you can see there's our wallet file. And also the same applies to the actual um, the wallet folder as well. as So you can look in there, see they're all password protected as well. So you can extract the whole lot in one go. So I just wanted to show you how that process worked. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you guys on the next video.